Figure Force is the codename of four daring, middle-aged, highly obsessed toy bloggers. Its purpose, to bring toy reviews and nostalgia to YouTube and Instagram. Video sharing websites that allow users to upload, view, share and comment. Hi, I'm Rudy Sassou and in conjunction with the Rejecticons and Tformers.com for Transform at Home, do you want to flake with that? To help light our darkest hour, Tformers.com, the Rejecticons, Big Bad Toy Store, Stan Bush, Toy Hacks, and along with many other YouTubers, are hosting a special event to entertain and engage Transformers fans who, for various reasons, have been isolated. It's super easy to join the Transformer home party. Simply comment or share on any of the web, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube videos with the inclusion of the Transformer home hashtag. Simply engaging in any of the channels by commenting and or sharing with the tag enters you into a draw for a random gift. It's that simple. Head over to the Tformers website listed in the description below for full rules and regulations. When it comes to the Bayverse, I've just never been a fan of the movies. I've just not enjoyed them at all really um, and it comes down to the storytelling. They're a bit convoluted, a bit muddled and I've just never really gravitated towards them. Being a, a big Transformers fan they've just never really done anything for me but I cannot fault them on their design aesthetics for their robots and for their alt modes that they chose for certain characters. I think some of the designs are ridiculously stunning. I like that they were brave enough to go in a very different direction from what had happened in previous cartoons. They made them look very much more otherworldly, much more alien especially with the Decepticons and a few of the Autobots. And with that, they have created some incredible toys over the years. If I think back recently to some of the third party ones that I've seen and been able to handle, the Dream Factory God09 Bone Crusher, that is one hell of a toy, one hell of an awesome Transformer. It's big, looks like it jumped off the screen, it's got incredible engineering and it was a joy to handle that last year. Other things that come to mind is the studio series Dark of the Moon, Megatron. The design for that in the film, for me, that was the highlight of that movie giving him that beaten up rig where it's crumbling apart and he looks like he's come out of the wasteland and then to get an incredible toy just that was that last year or maybe even the start of this year that's a, an incredible toy and then thinking back to even further when you know the first few movies did come out dispenser comes to mind again just a really unique interesting toy with a fun alt mode and a really cool looking toy that close enough to you know be Mountain Dew those are just some that have sprung to mind that I think the toy representations have been incredible but my favorite from the movies and especially one of the best toys that came out back then was Skids and Mudflap, the twins that turn into an ice cream van. These are incredibly fun toys and on the shelf they pop, in alt mode they pop. They're incredibly playable, they look 
like they do in the movies to a certain extent for being, you know, a slightly cheaper toy. Yeah, they're small, but God, they're incredible. If we take a look at Skids first, as you can see, the colours just really pop in that vibrant pink and cream. It's a pretty close head sculpt. And the fact that they've got ball joints everywhere gives it an incredible amount of articulation. They just... Fun. Just pure fun to be had with a toy. Yeah, there's a bit of kibble going on at the back, and I can, I can handle that. I've collected Transformers on and off for years and years that it has become a pet peeve of mine, the amount of kibble that you get with Transformers. But the fact that the aesthetic design of the Bayverse, they do have all these parts coming off them, spiky bits and oddly shaped hands. But for a fun pick up and play toy, you cannot go wrong with Skids and Mudflap. Out of the two, I like Mudflap a lot more. He's just got a hell of a lot more size and so many kind of angular pieces going on. I talked about the aesthetic of the Bay movie robots. A lot of, you know, isometric, asymmetric stuff that goes on and it wor really works for, for the twins. Again, the head sculpt is pretty spot on. And, it, you know, it still, still looks like that beautiful mix of alien, other worlds, and a robot. The choices that they made with having an ice cream van, I think is actually inspired because you had so many other cool concept cars going on in there and jets, helicopters, to have something as a little bit more bizarre and, you know, a little bit more fun. You know, if Transformers is generally for, for kids, so you do need to have that fun element. And what's more fun than, you know, an ice cream van? Well, to me anyway. The joy of this toy, though, is that they both combine to create the alt mode. It's something that I'd not seen in Transformers toys for a, for a long time, the, the duo con creating one alt mode from two toys. You know, it was done in G1 and a few of the other subsequent animations that came out in the 2000s. Figure Force will return after these messages. We now return to Figure Force. So here is Skids and Mudflap in their alt mode of the ice cream van. And I've got to tell you, I think it is ridiculously cool. It's such a fun Transformer. It, it's two hilarious characters in the film and it's a fun toy to pick up and play. There's loads of cool detail on it. You know, in some ways it's it is quite plain with just, you know, three colours, but I kind of like that aesthetic. Uh, I do believe there is a Toy Hacks set to give it, you know, extra ice creams on the blue, the blue windows and a few extra bits either side. And I don't know if my camera will pick it up, but there is raised bits on various parts where it's starting to to rust because it was quite a rusty ice cream van on the screen. It is hard to believe that that is inside there. The two robots fit in perfectly and it has the fun pop-up bit where Skid's head pops out just like the scene in the movie. 
it's a fun alt mode and a really cool toy to have, irregardless of being a Transformers fan or a Bayverse fan. But this toy holds an extra little personal thing for me. I wanted to be two things when I grew up. I wanted to be an archaeologist. I had Raiders of the Lost Ark on VHS and I watched it to death. So as a kid, you know, I wanted to be cracking the whip, finding treasure, you know, going through graves and traveling, you know, the Middle East, the, you know, the, the Holy Land, looking for artifacts. But as you get older, you realize that being an archeologist is nothing like Indiana Jones. If anything, it's trudging around a damp, wet field <clears throat> in winter in the English countryside looking for a Saxon coin. The other th thing I wanted to be when I was a kid was I wanted to be an ice cream man and I wanted to drive an ice cream van. Every Sunday at 2.45 in the afternoon, the ice cream man would drive down I would see his van, I would hear the noise, and I would go running out to go and get a Mr. Whippy with a flake to make it a 99. And to have a toy representation of an ice cream van that is also a Transformer hits on so many levels. A fun toy that holds a memory randomly through the Bayverse that I don't actually like. When lockdown's over and there's some sort of sense of normality, go get yourself a Mr Whippy and definitely ask for a flake. Make it a 99. But know this, don't eat it too quickly, you'll only get brain freeze and knowing is half the battle.